I want to take you back to when you were growing up. Your first six years, I, I think you lived in three different places in addition to uh, a relative's home. Uh, your mom would be at work when you went to school in the morning and I think generally still there when you came home at the end of the day. How much of a struggle w were things when you were growing up? I, I never felt it was a struggle at all. Um, you know, my mom worked 16 hours a day. She worked for my grandfather in his bakery and we lived on top of the bakery and I, I had everything I wanted. There was a playground across the street. I had sneakers and a basketball and I had a baseball bat and a baseball glove and football when whatever season it was, I was thrilled to death to be playing and my mom had this one rule when she blinked the shades, you know, to close the, the store, I had to come in. Um, you know, I, I never felt I wanted for anything and my mom had brothers and sisters that, you know, treated me like I was their son. You mentioned uh, your father's passing. Uh, when you were six years old, he ends up having a heart attack and passing away. Um, how do you think that impacted you? I don't, I don't know. Um, I never really thought about it till you know, you'd go to a father and son function or something like that. Uh, you know, it was harder on my brother because he was older. Um, my dad was away so much traveling that, you know, I, I got really close to my mom. I, I couldn't wait for the weekends to see my dad, but but again, I had so many people that took a personal interest in my life that um, they handled that void. Uh, now, as I got get older, I, I look back and there were a lot of things I really miss. I, you know, I would have loved to my, for my dad to see me play and watch me coach. Um, but, you know, so many, uh, so many people at really went out of the way to help me grow up. Um, and uh, I think from that standpoint, I was really, really lucky.